Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we have written the logic in the function module, we executed the function module and it is working perfectly fine. Now we need to call this function module inside our program because ultimately customer will run the program with the help of transaction code and why we have written the logic in the function module because function module is a modularization technique this is the best way to divide your logic into small small units small small parts and now we will call the function module inside the program See, we have not written the logic in the program and just see how our program will be neat and clean. So now how we will call our function module inside the program? We will simply, simply go to pattern button. This is pattern button. Now I will pass the name of the function module which we created. This is the function module. Now I will press enter. Now this point is already covered so many times and it is the part of a BAP programming playlist in full detail. Whenever we are calling the function module, import will become export, export will become import. Just see, whenever we created the function module, we have two input parameter. Here, when we called, we have how many export now? Two export. When we created the function module, we have one export. But when we call the function module, we have how many import? One import. So import become export, export become import. And this is a simple, simple answer. Whatever the program, whatever the values you are passing to the program, we will export to the function module. So from the program, we will go for export. So program, whenever we will go for export, it means in the function module, it will treat as import. This is just a, it's not a technical thing or something. From the program, we will export so that it will treat as import in the function module. So what we will do, whatever the date value we are passing to the program, we will pass to the function module. Yes, whatever the name value we are passing to the program, we will pass to the, whatever the name value we are passing to the program, we will pass it to the function module. Now I will uncomment this. Now in front of LT output, I will declare one internal table. Suppose I'm writing LT underscore final. Now the type of LT final will be same as that of what LT underscore output. It means how I can check the type of LT final. Just simply double click. And it is covered so many times everywhere. So just double click on the function module. Here, LT output is import. It means in the function module, it is export. So I will go to export. LT output is of this type. So I will copy and paste in our program. I will write LT underscore final type this. Now I will not write type table of because it is already a table type, already a table type. Now, as of now, I will just write the write statement to display the output but we are not supposed to use the write statement. We will display the output using ALV. That is our project case study requirement. Yes. 
but as of now just to check the output i will just write a write statement loop at lt underscore final into lwa underscore final for every loop there is a end now i need to declare work area also i will declare work area Now, do not declare the work area type table type. It will make an internal table. Work area is always, always structure type. So just copy the name of your structure type, which has six columns and declare the work area. Now, I will simply, simply go for write statement. I will write six columns. LWA final VVELN. This is just temporary write statement. Anyways, we will comment this post now because our output should be with the help of ALV. Matenar MAKTX KWMENG VRK now I will check the syntax and activate. So whatever the value of date and username we will pass, we will pass it to the function module. From the program, we are exporting the values. It means from the program, whenever you will export, it means in the function module, it will treat as import. So whatever the value you are giving to date, it will go to this particular parameter of the function module. Whatever the value you are giving to username, it will go to this parameter of the function module. See, whenever we are passing the values, it is going right to left. Whenever it will return, it will return left to right, left to right. So LT output will give to LT underscore final. Whenever I will run the program, we will receive runtime error. And all of us, those who listened the previous videos of a BAP programming, they know very, very well why the runtime error will come. I will run the program. And I will show you the runtime error first. I will go for date only. Username, anyways, it's optional. We'll go to execute. Have you seen? I'm getting a runtime error. And what the runtime error is. Type conflict during a function module call. If I will scroll down, it is clearly saying. S E R that is not compatible with S underscore E R that S E R that is not compatible with S underscore E R that in this function module. If I will show you this function module, if I'll go to the program, but SAP is saying this s underscore er dat is not compatible with this same way it will come for this also if i will pass the value of username s underscore er name num is not compatible with s e r num why why this runtime error is coming firstly i will go to debugging mode and then I will go for the conclusion. And many people, I think, already aware also. I'll put a breakpoint. I will run. I'm giving the value. I will go to desktop. Now, I will double click on to this select option. Whenever I will double click on to this select option, have you seen two things are coming with the same name? We all know select option is a internal table. Now the question comes most most important part. 
select option is a internal table with header line with header line so what is the meaning of with header line in case of with header line the work area and internal table both have the same name same name see so this is s underscore er dat this is s underscore er dat with brackets with brackets one is internal table and one is work area if you are going for brackets it means this is a internal table just see it is just like a table of four column if you are not going for brackets it is just like a work area work area is going for single record single record now we are saying select option is a internal table with header line so if we want to identify the internal table and work area what is the difference what is the difference if you are using brackets with the name it means that is a internal table if i am not using brackets with the name it means it is a work area now you can easily easily get the answer have we used brackets with these names we have not used brackets with the name it means sap is treating these two as what work area we are passing work area to internal table we are passing work area to internal table that's why type conflict is coming if i will use brackets here it means it will be a internal table it will be a internal table we are passing internal table to internal table internal table to internal table so this is extremely extremely important point especially those who already listened the video they are very much clear about this concept select option is a internal table with header line in case of with header line work area internal table both are same so to identify the work area in internal table if we are using brackets that is a internal table if we are not using brackets that is a work area so now i will make this as a internal table so i will go to the program and just i will use brackets here so just remember whenever you have with header line so in case of with header line to identify the internal table use brackets that is for with header line now whenever i will run the program you can see we are getting same to same output which we got through the function module anyways we need to display the output through alb as of now we have written just the right statement 1 2 3 4 5 6 column data is there so what is the summary of the video in this video we call the function module inside the program through the pattern button after that we came on to the conclusion yes whenever you are calling the function module import become export export become import and this is just a very simple answer from the program we are exporting so that in the function module it will treat as importing is yes. whenever function module will give the export result in our program it will treat as import result yes then after that we are getting the run time error in the program then we came on to the conclusion that select option is a internal table with header line so to identify the work area and internal table we need to use brackets so we use the brackets and we simply simply display the output using the right statement in the next video 
we will simply use now class method rather than this function so that's it in this particular video thank you